everyone welcome back to my channel Brenda Summers here welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not today I'm doing my third Timu haul for Canada yay Timu Timu I bought all of these hauls with my own money I am not an influencer I do not get an influencer code so just letting you know I am a consumer just buying products just like you just to test them out Timu is an online um, shopping site that has millions and millions of vendors and retailers that come together and offer products to consumers like us for deals they're always having lightning deals and whatnot they um, have various payments and it's free shipping all the time and then after a certain point if they put together your order and they don't deliver on time they give you a five dollar credit or whatnot to put towards your next um, Timu haul and then um, if you're not happy with a product or if the product comes smashed you can fill in a return form and depending on the product they'll either ask you to return it or they will give you an option of getting Timu credit which only takes about three minutes all you have to do is fill in a form of why the product is damaged or why you didn't like it send them a picture and in three minutes you get credit back but if you want your money back you still have to go through the same process but it takes about five to seven business days to get your money back on whatever payment that you chose so just letting you know so Timu is just kind of um it's a crapshoot every time you buy something it's either a good product or a bad product it either performs or it doesn't perform as you could tell in my last couple of Timu hauls I told you straight up what I thought of the products I was on the fence about some of them some of them are just pretty much crap and others I really really liked and didn't mind paying the prices but you have to be a really good consumer you have to look at all the reviews you have to look at all the influencers and people like me that do reviews or shows their team new hauls and if they've actually used the product um, and if they're telling you how they perform just listen to them because you could be wasting a lot of money on crap that you're going to end up donating or throwing out so um, so far my experiences with jewelry stay away from the jewelry as far as I'm concerned it's crap you're wasting your money unless you know you're you know you're getting flimsy stuff um, just stay away from it same with certain electronic products and stuff like that it's that stuff you want to do up close and personal in-person shopping maybe on an Amazon that type of thing but that's just me that's just my own per personal preference same with the shoes I'm very picky with my shoes I could never buy shoes off a website same with clothing the clothing the sizing from Timu is just really really weird I don't know what size I would be in Timu most of it's like they're saying for like a 20 it's like 2 or 3x for a 20 um, extra large and yeah, that case I'm gonna need like a million extra larges to fit me so I'm staying away from their clothing that type of thing other people are just loving their products so if you're the type of person that can fit into the clothing or the shoes that's great but it's just not for me I'm staying away from that stuff so without further ado let's dive into my third Timu haul and the little things that I decided to purchase I wanted a wallet to go inside my first um, purse that I showed you on my first Timu haul, the embroidery purse. Um, I don't have a small wallet, so I thought, oh, this might be really cute to buy and have. Now that I'm feeling it and now that I'm seeing it, I don't think it's very good. I think I'm going to have to try again. Um, I guess you pay... You're paying for what you're buying are you getting the quality of whatever um, I don't know how to say what how does that saying go go the cheaper that you buy something for the cheaper of the quality this is just okay it's foamy it it kind of goes with my purse I guess I'll use it but it's not what I had 
was expecting. I, for some reason, thought it was going to be embroidered um, flower on here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I'm going, but it's not. It's similar flower pattern, but anyways, very light. It's like foamy. Um, yeah. And then I guess it'll do what I want it to do. And then the, the zipper part, um, you've got the foam in there to protect it, but then you've got pink lining. So this is a really st st stiff, stiff zipper. I think it might break if, but it's stiff. So, um, it's a heavy enough zipper though for such a, um, flimsy wallet and then that's what that looks like so it's very light um would i recommend you buying it no put your money towards something a little bit of more higher quality something that's going to be more substantial maybe some this is kind of like a a fake kind of leather it's very very soft to me i would give this to my granddaughter to play with more so than for me to use i think once i use it i'm going to try it once I use it, or maybe I'll return it, I don't know. Um, to me, this reminds me of a kid's play purse, to be honest. There's no quality here, but what did I expect? I only paid, um, oh, I did pay quite a bit for this. I paid $6.68 for this, so this might be going back. I'm not happy with the quality at all. Had it been only like a dollar or something, then yeah, I would keep it and give it to my granddaughter to play with, but for that amount of money it's going back don't waste your money on that one so that's what that looks like so i'll have all the descriptions and what i paid for in the um descriptions down below it looked okay on the website i just wasn't sure i hemmed and hawed maybe i should have hemmed and hawed a little bit more so yeah don't waste your money that was quite a bit of money for that so 668 the next thing that i bought was cute little stickers and you can't go wrong with cute little stickers i just can't find them they're alpaca uh, 50 pieces and i paid a dollar 18 for these so can't go wrong with stickers well unless they don't stick <laughs> but then you can glue them so and i'll just show you what they look like really really quickly so very very cute and you're getting 50 of these little guys so i thought for the money that i paid for them i would take a chance so that's just a few of them i'm not going to waste my time going over 50 stickers so like i said a dollar 18 for 50 so that's not too bad next one next product that i wanted and i'm always trying to find spots like i have a spoon rest at um on my stove and that but a spoon rest with a lid holder i wanted to try so this is what i picked up it's for spoons and for your lid so let me sorry don't mean to crinkle the packaging this is a solid silicone piece so not too too bad the quality is there you rest your spoons in here and then you put your pod holder there, or I guess you could put your pod holder there. And I, it's called a one piece silicone um, utensil rest with drip pad for multi utensils, heat resistant spoon rest and spoon holder for stovetop, kitchen utensil holder for spoons, ladles, tongs, and more. I would rest also a pot lid for $2.28. So I took a chance. All I could get was blue. Uh, I would have preferred green, but I could recommend you getting this product. So two twenty eight, it's not bad. I'm sure you could find it really cheaper um, if you were to look for it. This product, I'm telling you right now, don't waste your money. It's garbage, very very light. It's gonna break. I wouldn't use this. I thought it would have been a little bit heavier. You're thinking, what the heck is this contraption? Like, this is just going to break off. This is really, really cheap. And then this is just going to poke you. So, don't buy this. Um, eyelashes, eyelash makeup auxiliary tool, upper 
Lower Eyelash Mascara Guard Applicator Guide Helper with Eyelash Comb for Makeup, 80 cents. Not worth the 80 cents. You're just going to end up damaging yourself. Very, very flimsy. No. <laughs> um, so I'm returning that. If not, it goes in the garbage and I wasted 80 cents. Next one is a comb. Um, a one-piece hair cleaning comb airbrush cleaning brush for $1.58. I thought I would take a chance. You know how uh, I usually, I, I don't even, I'm making, I'm not making sense right now. You know how when you go to do your brushes or your combs and you're trying to clean them out and you use like another brush or comb to clean them out or whatnot? Well, this is just one of these. I guess you do that. For your brush and then you pick out the little gobbly gooks this part is really sturdy this is okay but i think this picker is going to break because it's very very cheap plastic so i'm not happy with the quality i thought that was metal to be honest so i paid a dollar 58 for that i wouldn't waste my money on that so they're calling it a comb hair cleaning brush thing that's a waste of money. If I can't return it, it's just going in the garbage because it's going to be of no use unless I take off the plastic bits and just use the brush part. But I thought the um, the prong things would have been metal, but not. Okay, my fault. Next one, and talking about jewelry, of course, I picked up a pair of cute cat pasta earrings shiny zircon gold and copper for a dollar 43 i bought them mainly for my daughter um, she's an adult yes i know but i was just she just wanted something um just to have um she can't find her stud earrings right now so i thought for now if these hold up uh the last earrings i bought were all of wire hoops and the quality just wasn't there these are tiny actually a lot smaller than what I thought they're studs and I just lost the backing off of it so right away this is crooked so I would not recommend you putting these in your ears I'm not even going to give them to her Look at how bent they are. Like that's okay. What did I expect for a dollar forty-three? Uh, much better. This is a little bit straighter, but garbage again. So, like I said, don't waste your money on jewelry. At least I've had no luck on them. Um, stick to something a little bit more of quality. You just never know, though. So that's garbage. So that's a dollar forty-three wasted. Or I'll return it. I'll try to return it. Um, the, the little post is bent, so that's not good. Next one is a powder puff five piece set. So powder puffs, you would think you can't go wrong with them. It's multicolored. They're the fan type that you put on your finger. A dollar 48 for all of these. They feel good. Hard puff go. Um, very, very soft. And I guess this is how you use them. Um, so, okay. So, this is just all um, foam in there. So, I don't know how well this is going to hold up. But as far as the puff goes, $1.48. Okay. So, that's okay for $1.48. Next ones. Next thing that I picked up was... Uh, Core your fruits and veggies easily with this green pepper tomato core. Well, this is what the box looks like. Came all smushed. I'm not happy about that. And then you're supposed to be able to core your pepper. You know, already, this is all jaggedy and garbage. This is just all garbage. So this is going to break. So this goes back. This is, don't waste your money on this. Um, how much did I pay for that? $1.98. It looked pretty 
cool. It looked like it was going to do its job. I guess if it's not metal, sometimes metal though isn't of good quality, don't buy it. This is junk. So as far as kitchen gadgets go, this is junk. And yeah, that's what it was supposed to do. So not happy about that. But anyways, like I said, you just never know. Next one is a angled eyebrow brush. I bought it mainly if I wanted to play around with my um, eyebrows and it seems quality. It's like metal. Um, I paid a dollar seventy eight for it. So, <sighs> so let's see. That's what that looks like. You can get them for much cheaper. I paid a dollar seventy eight though. A dollar nineteen, I've seen them, and that's how the bristles are. And the bristles are pretty okay. So yes, I'll be keeping that. So I'm happy with that. So that's a recommend. Um, it's called a professional multifunction angled brush. So anything that I put down below, I'll put um, the links to it. I'll put the price, and then I'll put in brackets whether or not I recommend this product to buy or not or whether or not I'm returning it because of quality, because I just don't want you wasting your money. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm pretty much wasting my money on some of these products, and then I'm just sharing the information with you. So next one is Powder Blush 3D High Pigmented. So I really, really wanted this for the aesthetics only. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like. It came in this bag, and it's this one. And this was four dollars and twenty two cents. So, and then it, it comes safety sealed there, and it's in shade one. If you're interested, and I bought it just to look at it, I'm not going to use it, <laughs> it's pretty sad. And it's a pretty packaging like that, and then you'll see why. I like to look at makeup as well, um, but yeah, that's what that looks like, and it's pretty. So I'm not going to be using it. I'll be looking at it. Maybe I'll use it later on, but that's what that looks like. So that was $4.22. I'm pretty happy with it. It's from CDE Highlight. It's in a pretty compact pretty gold and some people just buy makeup to look at it because it's pretty embossing it's a pretty palette um whatnot so that's why i bought that people aren't going to think you're weird lady maybe i am maybe i'm not that's just me next one is they're calling these triangle elf powder puffs whether or not they came from elf i don't know but i got an eight piece triangle elf powder puffs and they're the triangle white ones um I will open them to share with you what I think of them. Um, I paid two dollars and sixty nine cents for these, and these ones are really really soft. The foam is a little bit less dense. These are really really nice. These ones over the last ones that I just showed you, I would recommend these more so than the other ones. The other ones will do, but these are like softer. They're made of better quality foam. So just, I'm just letting you know. So eight pack of those were $2.69. And then I bought, this is a dupe for ColourPop as well. I'm pretty sure it's truly madly deeply. And um, it's by Guka Kami again. So let's take a look at this. If you go on ColourPop, um, website. I'm sure you're going to find this, but it'll say color pot. So, and then on the back, it has all the names on it. There's the packaging. It's just cardboard. And I'm not going to swatch these. So I'm just going to share with you the colors of them. Maybe I'll swatch them in another video, but here's the color story. So the color story looks really, really pretty. And so um, I'll read you the colors. I guess the colors from this, this way. 
and down that way. Now I'm going to read them across. So the first one is Matter of Fact, Sweet Dreams, Blossom, Laszlo. Next one is Golden Gate Bridge, Hungry Ghost, Renegade, Cut, Outs, Jackpot, Indigo, Misty, Poodle, Pretty, Cruel, Mad, To Last, Mr. Sin, Man, and Too Much. So I don't know what the other colors in the other color story um, names are called. I don't know if this is a dupe for ColourPop. I believe it is, though. So it's this one. Um, as far as color stories go, it's pretty. Um, the packaging is just cardboard, like you would get anywhere else. And I paid for this one, actually, $10.79. Um, so I will do... Um, in a next video, when I go to do another Timu haul, I'll swatch this one just to tell you what I think about it. Because for $10.79, that's a lot for a palette, especially if the quality of the shadows aren't there. I'm just running out of time again. Next one is a one-piece mini sealer. And so I've got batteries to show you if it seals or not. This came all smushed. So, you know... Um, when you have plastic bags and you want to reseal them, well, this is supposed to seal them. It's cheap. Um, it's $1.99. I got it in a flash sale. Um, and I think it takes two AA batteries. So let's see. I'm really bad for trying to batteries in something um, huh maybe not maybe these are AA batteries oh I thought they were Okay, I think they're AA bat AAA. So I will get batteries and get back to you on this. This is very light, very um, cheap. They made whether or not it works, we shall see. But if it doesn't work, I am returning it because it's just it's really cheap plastic for that. So um, when the price is that low, believe me, the saying goes, it's too good to be true. In that. In that case, it's too good to be true. Um, yeah. Next one is rose-shaped um, stud earrings. I bought another pair. I bought a more expensive pair, hoping that they might be a little bit better quality. I thought they were cute. They're silver plated. They were three eighteen. They're a little bit bigger, but I'm seeing the posts again. Are are um, yeah, yeah. These are going back. These are all um, wonky again. I'm I'm not pleased. I'm never buying jewelry again. Never say never, though. The posts are all coming in smushed. Yeah, look at how can you wear that? Like that's all damaged. Ugh, I really liked them though. They were really really cute, but the posts are all bent and damaged and like they're all like look at. You try to put that in your ear. Like, you tell me. Like, there's no way that I'm going to try to bend it back and then put it in my ear. Like, no, I'm not going to. Knowing me, I'll have to go to the hospital and get it cut out. So that's kind of disappointing. So those go back. So for 3 18 that was kind of a disappointment so i'm not buying earrings off of timu again sorry maybe some people have better luck than i do but when i expect jewelry i expect it to be a little bit more quality especially if you're going to pay three dollars and 18 cents i know you can get that in a normal store too but at least in a normal store you can inspect the jewelry here whatever i think i got um, got, um, ah, smushed in the, um, 
the bag. Sorry, brain fart, brain fart. Next one is a one piece fruit um, core. It was like $1.58. Um, I don't know. This seems really cheaply made too. I don't know if I'll trust it or not. It seems like it's been pretty beat up. Um, okay, as far as kitchen gadgets go, I don't know. It seems like it's going to work, but it seems awfully dangerous. So that was $1.58. Not happy with that either. So that's just me. And then, um, so why buy off a Timu then? Well, you're taking a gamble. My gambles just don't work out, though. That's the problem. Um, for 59 cents, I thought, okay, for a funnel, you can't go wrong. Especially, you can always look for a little funnel. So that is okay. I'll keep that. So that it was worth my 59 cents. Next one, I'm really, really unhappy with them. You're supposed to be able to grate vegetables with this and stuff. Look at this. This came like wonky. This is garbage. Like, ugh. It's like they smooshed it in the bag, couldn't get the product out fast enough. And then I'm not going to use this. Because look at it. It's wonky. It's all bent. Like, that's just, like, can't even use it. It's supposed to shred. This is really cheap. Don't waste your money on this. This was 88 cents. I've seen them for more expensive. Don't waste your money on it. It's not what it looks like. Same with this. Um, don't waste your money on this. Go to a real store and buy these gadgets, to be honest. Next one is an avocado slicing tool. It was 98 cents. This seems to be okay. It's very light, though. It might just break. And then... There's the tool um, for 98 cents. It's very cheap. I wouldn't recommend buying this. That's what that looks like. So it's going to break, especially if you get a avocado that is really hard. You're supposed to slice them when they're, they're soft, but some people will try. So that was a waste of my 98 cents. And then I got a perfume animizer for $1.48. Um, you can buy them in bags of five for five bucks, but I thought I would try it. This, you're supposed to be able to refill, and then you're supposed to put the perfume in, and then it's supposed to mist. So I got my normal bottle of diamonds and sapphires from Elizabeth Elizabeth Taylor, so we will see if we can do this or not. This doesn't seem like it's going to be... Oh, it's working. Did it put some perfume in? Oops. Yeah, it did actually. It put perfume in. So this is this is nice for traveling. It's a hard plastic, but it's not like really hard where if you drop it, it's going to crack. And then, can you see? So I would highly recommend that. That That is a cool, coolest thing. So that saves you from taking your great big bottles of perfume. So this was my Diamonds and Sapphires by Elizabeth Taylor. And then... It did a half decent job with filling that up. So there you go. So that worked. So uh, of course I'm keeping that. So that was $1.48. So you find them in packs of five. It is my, <coughs> sorry. Ooh, the fumes are coming this way. <laughs> I really like the perfume, but I'm in a, like, a closed um, room right now. And the air in here is stale. So I would actually buy more of those. Um, only because you want to stick them in your purse. You don't want to have great big bottles like that rolling around. Next one I'm disappointed in and I'm returning it, but I really, really wanted it. It's a one piece creative hollow out metal book clip. Um, it's a dollar 18 and it's all bent like and cheap. So that's going back. So 
would not recommend that bookmark. A lot of people don't bother, but I mean, 88 cents here, or dollar 18 here, adds up. So not happy with that. Next one is the one piece privacy smear confidential stamp. A lot of people were raving about this. This was like a dollar 38. So we'll see how this goes. I will test it. So obviously if I'm testing it, I can't take it back. Um, so that's what that looks like. That's what that looks like. And then I'll roll it on my piece of paper at the back here. Ooh, nice. And then that's how that worked. So the reason why you want one of these, so that works really well. So that worked. So that was worth the money that we just spent on it. Um, that was $1.38. It's because if you have like addresses, like I was showing you when I did my um, thumbnail, I didn't want my address to show, so I had to put my hand there. I could have, if I had that out, I could have just... Um, ruled it and no one would see my address so that's a highly recommend for a dollar 38 and then um last but not least in this haul nope i've got a couple more things um i ended up buying 32 pairs of eyeliner eyeshadow st sticker stencils for dollar 61 to try so just so it gives me a guideline um they came kind of smushed, but not too smushed. So they're adhesive. So for, I thought for $1.61, they're okay to try. Next one that I picked up was these. These are for your computer. And you know how you have the little window to your um, camera? And just in case you want some privacy, then... Um, I bought those just to try. You're going to stick them on. Um, I can't find them for now, but I only paid like a dollar or something for those. So that's what those are. And then last but not least, I think I only paid like 58 cents, 98 cents. This is to peel your oranges with. You know how I, you have the longer one that you usually got from Tupperware parties and stuff? So this is just Timu's version of it. You're supposed to ew, put it on your hands and go like that. That might be dangerous. These are cheap. So I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. I wasn't expecting that to be there. That's really sharp. That's going to hurt someone. So those go back. I'm not really happy with that. So as you can tell, I'm a very picky, picky person when it comes to quality, when it comes to my products. I'm going to be returning most of it, not most of it, but all the little gadgety stuff and that. It all adds up. And if they won't take it back, it just goes in the garbage. And then I have to think about, am I going to really um, order from Timu again? Some of those um, items. Same with the eyeshadow palettes. You really, really got to look at the them and see if you really really want them or not um it's hit and miss i kind of like some of their products and i don't like some of their products as you can tell as i'm reviewing them the quality is just not there for some and that's why they're so cheap so some of them though um if they're in a lightning sale um the prices do come down and some of them are of quality but Normally, most of this stuff is just junk, actually. Sorry to say, but that's just my opinion. So, like I said, you'll see what I really, really like, and you'll see my thoughts and opinions on them. So, take it for what it is. It's my two cents worth. Um, people have to be critical of what they're spending. A lot of people will just throw this stuff out and say, oh, oh, well me I'm going to try to return the stuff I'm not happy with so anyways that's why I did this um, video just to share with you the stuff that I bought um, some people would be satisfied with this stuff like I said I'm very picky when it comes to my products especially if I'm paying money good money out of my pocket even if it's 98 cents I still expect it 
to be able to put it in my ears without it being slanted or whatever. <laughs> That's just my thoughts and opinions. Um, so if Timu's ever watching this video, you'll never have me as an influencer because I'm just straight up honest and some of your products are garbage. I'm sorry, but they're not worth the 98 cents, $1.98, $3.18. Um, I mean, you got to do better with your packaging. You're sm smushing some of it. Some of it's, you might, I might have known that the quality is just not there because of the price. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm a consumer. I want my products to come looking ship shape. Some of them, had I wanted them for gifts, I couldn't give them as gifts because they're they're going back or they're garbage or they're not of quality. So anyways, um, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for all things coming up with me. You just never know what I'm going to upload. Surprise! So I hope you're enjoying your day. Thank you very much for spending a little bit of time going over my third Timu haul, my brutal honest opinions about them um, they are what they are take care catch on the flip side bye for now